Hello Chiki of you, welcome to straight arms flow part one. Straight arms meaning there will be no chaturangas, so no yogi push-up. Let's get to it. Start by standing at the bottom of your mat, so the mat is in front of you. And take a few deep breaths and just ground yourself, prepare yourself for this practice. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And on next exhale, bend your knees and fold forward. Relax your back, relax your neck, relax your face, relax your arm and just hang out there. Feel the gentle stretch in your lower back. On the next inhale, put your hands on the mat and walk them forward. On the exhale, get into downward facing dog. Pedal your feet, stretch one leg, then another. Remember to press your hands into the ground, especially the base of your index fingers. Move your shoulders away from ears towards your tailbone. So keep your back nice and long. Relax your face and breathe. On the next exhale, straighten your legs, but try to keep your back straight. So don't start hunching. If you're hunching your lower back, then bend your legs slightly. It doesn't matter if your heels are not touching the ground. We're focusing way more on the back here. Now on the next inhale, start moving your torso forward so that your shoulders are above your wrists in one line. It's plank pose. If you've never done plank pose before, I've got a separate tutorial on that. So here what you want to do, you want to press your spine in between your shoulder blades so you are not collapsing in your shoulder blades. You are also scooping your tailbone, meaning moving it down and forward, so towards the ground. This way you will activate your core. You don't want to collapse in your lower back. It's very important to get this position right because you don't want your butt to be too high and you don't want it to be too low. Now on exhale, bend your knees and move back into downward facing dog. We're going to repeat this move quite a few times and if possible, try to imitate a wave. So make this wave movement as you transition from down dog to plank and back to down dog. So let's try again. Inhale, transition into plank. Exhale, back to downward dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. On the next inhale, lift your right leg up and tilt your foot towards the left like a little Scorpio. Make a few circles with your foot and then on exhale, put it back down. Repeat on the other side. Inhale, left foot up, make a few circles. This variation of a downward facing dog is a really nice gentle hip opener. Exhale, foot down. And on inhale, let's repeat our wave movement. So inhale, plank pose. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank pose. You've got this. Keep going. Exhale, down dog. Two more times. Inhale, plank pose. You've got this. Exhale, down dog. And last one. Well done. 
If you need a quick break, you can always click pause and shake off your hands, shake off your arms, take a few deep breaths and then come back to me. Next one, reverse table pose. I'm doing it without sitting down, but you can sit down if that makes it easier for you. The point is to get your face and your belly, the front of your torso, towards the sky. The wrists are underneath your shoulders. Your fingers are pointing forward outside, so they're not pointing towards your butt or your feet. They're point in opposite direction. Your ankles are underneath your knees. Try hard not to collapse in your core. So that's the point. We're working on our hamstrings, on our core, on our glutes, so butt muscles. We're also working our shoulders. So a lot of good stuff. Important Pay attention to your knees so that they're not going too much outwards or inwards. Try to keep them hip distance apart and above your ankles. I'm leaving it up to you what you want to do with your head and neck. You can either keep your chin close to your chest or you can relax completely and let it hang. Now, if you are up for a challenge... Then shift your weight to your right foot and lift your left leg up. It doesn't matter how high you go, it can be just, just above the ground. The point is to keep your core strong. So you don't want to collapse in your belly, you don't want to lose the straight line. So it doesn't matter how high you go with your leg. On exhale, put it back on the ground, shift the weight to the left foot and on inhale, lift the right leg up. Again, you don't have to go high, just don't collapse in your belly, don't collapse in your core. Keep breathing and smile. Think about how amazing your butt is going to look after this session. On exhale, release and slowly turn around and make your way to downward facing dog. Again, if you need to hit pause and get yourself a break, do it now. Okay, you with me? Last few rounds of our wavy transitions between plank and down dog. So inhale, please move into plank. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose. You've got this. Exhale, downward facing dog. And last time, inhale, plank pose, exhale, downward facing dog. Well done. Take a deep inhale and exhale through mouth. One more time. Inhale, exhale through mouth. Now inhale together. And exhale, slowly walk your hands towards your feet. Keep your legs straight or bent, it's your choice. Inhale, lift halfway up, look forward. Exhale, fold forward, knees bent or straight, your choice. On the next exhale, everyone bend your knees. And on inhale, slowly roll your spine up. Hands up to the sky. Put your palms together and bring them to your heart. Amazing job, my friend. I'm really proud of you. Thank you for showing up for yourself. See you next week.